this gentleman I'm pleased to introduce. This is Dr. Elia. And I said, what is your passion? He said, no, 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 don't worry. He said, I will tell them my passion. And I bet you it has something to do with energy. So with that, I'm going to turn the seminar over to you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, uh, for such a kind and short introduction. That's enough. That's enough. It indicates that I have some passion. Yes. That is why I'm here. Okay. Uh, um, I am actually that I am. That's all. But in a usual way, I'm going to say, okay, I am Ilya Lakicevic. I'm doctor of physical science since 1982. I'm a research professor since 1995. I have started my research uh, at the Institute of Physics in Belgrade. Uh, I, got my, my, I received my PhD there. And then I went uh, to Germany to work uh, on, in a plasma fusion research because that was my dream to be involved in a fusion research. And I uh, came to the University of Düsseldorf. For two years, I was working on the tokamak unitor, that is a kind of small, to small tokamak, making uh, uh, UV spectroscopy measurements at that time of beryllium lines that were interesting for the kind of uh, limiter construction and so on. And at the same time, I performed the measurements in the tokamak uh, texture in Jülich. Also, I measured some fluctuations in the plasma scrape of layer. So uh, after that, I moved to, to, to Garching, to Max Planck Institute uh, for Plasma Physics. And uh, I, was, uh, I got a member of the W7AS team, Stellarator, and uh, did the measurements of uh, magnetic field configuration, as you might know. That is a very complicated magnetic field structure by stellarators as a kind of very strange machines. Okay, and uh, at the same time I uh, measured the limiter load. So I did it pretty well, well because I got an invitation from the JET Joint European Taurus, the biggest fusion machine in the world that is uh, uh, actually closed two years ago, unfortunately, and I. Uh, made an agreement to move to, to London, to Callum, to Callum, actually. And when I visited a, a, a jet, there was a conference in Bournemouth. And I, I, got, uh, I went to visit a jet. And when I saw so, uh, such a complicated machine, so many monitors, cables, uh, magnets, uh, and measuring devices, that is a so huge hole. And I said, God, something is wrong with this. That, that, this is not the right concept. That, that is not the nature's way things are creating. Uh, nowhere in, a, in nature you can see such complicated arrangements and everything works perfectly. A and that time I took my decision. Uh, I will find out that principle of simplicity Workings, God's creational principle. And that is my passion. Stephanie, that is my passion. And I found it. I, I found it. That was in the year 1990, end of the year 1990. And I decided to cut, to, I, I actually gave up and said to them, okay, I'm not going to, I, I, don't, I don't trust in this. And that is the question of honesty. I said, I don't, don't trust in this project. And I cannot work on it if I don't trust it. You see, that is not a question of money. Money was huge money. That's a big salary. Unbelievable for that time. Everybody said to me, you are crazy man. You don't like to accept so much money and go to London and work on the data project. I went back to Belgrade, to Serbia. And then came the war. Inflation and the game. Okay. I'm not going to talk about it. Okay. I started at that time to investigate Plasma force-free configuration. That is totally intuitive. And I became an expert from EIA, from Wien, International, International Atomic Energy Agency. And I gave a few lectures in different cities during this period of 10 years. And in, at the end of 2000, I felt... Uh, 
such a heavy energies in the Institute of Physics where I was employed. Because uh, that was a time of uh, very, very heavy nationalism and kind of people from the government governing that and uh, controlling everything, manipulating everything. There was no freedom for me for creation, even on a such small project like uh, plasma force free, force free field investigation, nothing important. And I said, okay, I break this. I break that. I go on my own way. I go out. And one day, I came working, sat down, wrote goodbye forever. That is not, uh, that is not the environment for me. I don't feel me uh, like here. A home, and that is not my home. Goodbye. Out. I went out. Right on the street. Two children, wife. No means for life. Okay, but that is not the point. I did it very well. Uh, later, my daughter started playing tennis, and we went all around the Europe uh, and so on. But I continued to investigate it and to, in order to find out that simplest principle of creation, the God's principle of creation. And I started my communications with Tesla. And I started to study Walter Russell for years, for years. I believe I'm the only one in this world who knows every picture, position in his writings. I spent months and years with universal one, the secret of light and atomic suicide. I recommend you that from my heart, if you like to transform yourself and read it, absorb it, but not, not read it a book, read a statement and then meditate, <coughs> meditate, absorb it. I read it many statements, probably more than 100 times, I spent hours and hours in meditations. And finally, I got that. I got it. I know. I know now, now the principle. That is why I'm here to share. To share that with you. Now my desire, there is a much stronger desire than to discover that creational principle. And that desire is to share with all of you. That is my way. That is Ilya's way. There is no patents, no secrets. Everything will be open. I'll give that everything to you. And later I will publish it so that the whole world can make profit of it. That is not me. That is not for me. I didn't make it for myself. I make it for all of us. And that is why I'm here. So, thank you very much. So, I came here actually uh, to speak and to talk about the secret of Tesla style of, of scientific thinking and discovery. Of course, that is my favorite sub subject. I spent with Tesla days and days and months discussing concept. I would say that I'm crazy. There is a telepathic communication between me and Tesla on the internet. You put uh, my name uh, on Google and you find out it is translated in, in German. I'm, I'm especially proud of it because I, I like German people. I like Germany. I like to speak German also. I spent there six years. Unbelievable. Wonderful. Everything was, 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 was Prima, super. Alles, alles bestens, yeah? So, so, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And, uh, and uh, then, how I came here, actually, during these 12 years, since two, the beginning of 2001, I've never published a word. I made my comments, my concepts, I wrote it, everything, I have it. On my computer, I have uh, sketches, I, I have uh, pictures, I have everything. N I, I never read something about the science, scientific papers. No one, no one about quantum string theory, about uh, whatever, nothing, nothing. 
I didn't know even when the, when the jet was closed. Two years ago, later, I, I actually got it. Uh, I was wondering, why? Jet closed? It's not possible. I found once on internet a uh, fusion fraud. Oh, then I said, thanks God that I am not involved in that story. Fusion fraud. Can you imagine that I have spent the whole my life working on a fraud project? That was a huge decision. The point is, for you, all of you, honesty. Honesty is the key. That is, that is the key. Thank you. So, uh, okay, it, nothing happens accidentally. I'm actually, so to say, very ripe now to share that what I know. And that is why I found on the internet uh, this uh, breakthrough energy movement that is actually exactly designed for me and for m my abilities to, 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 to share that, to share that, everything, just to, to share. There is a difference, huge difference to share and to give. For example, you have so wonderful eyes, eyes, wonderful eyes, and the beauty of your eyes, you can just share. The more you share it, the more you have it. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. You, 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 you do that. You do that. But the beauty is always there. You share it. The more you share it, the more you have it. That is, that is the trick, you know. Not giving, sharing, sharing. People used to say expressing. Expressing is something, you know, I don't like that word, expressing. Expressing. It, it means something quick also. Huh? Express, express. Okay, I like what share. Yeah. Okay, that is my, okay, okay, you, you can use the word express, I, I, know, I know what it means, it, I accept it, uh, no problem. Okay, and then, then I, I got, got in contact with those people from, from, from BEM and offered them my presentation and they had no, no speaker about uh, Tesla, Tesla spirit and so on. I, I, I told to them what the kind of breakthrough are go you are going to make without Tesla. Tesla is the breakthrough, the greatest one in the history of this civilization. And they said, okay, okay, we have arranged that. That is how I came here. Okay. <laughs> so, now, I come to the subject. When I came here, I thought, I thought the whole people that are involved here, the speakers and the, that uh, this is scientific stuff and so, they all understand the things. They all understand uh, energy. They, no, they all understand new energy. They all understand relations between and the difference and the, uh, and, and the, the, what, what is the free energy, what is the new, what is the old. And I, I noticed with the surpriseness, great astounds. I was astounded. They do not understand it. They do not understand it. Uh, you must understand my background. I have a scientific background. I know that all is scientific form. I know what is scientific method. I went through it. I got my research professor with 45. I was a 45 with that. Very early, you must admit. But, but, it's a joy to speak esoterically and spiritually about those things. And that you are able only when you understand it and when you comprehend it. When you are that, you can do it. And that is why I'm doing that with gla uh, glad gladly and with joy. I speak it uh, always in, in, in a sense. You have heard it, how, how I used to speak about that. I'm not going to speak much about formulas, about uh, maths and about graphs and so. I express it, it, it everything in some other form, but when it comes to formulas, I possess also formulas. I will, you will experience very soon, I wrote the right equation instead of A equals mc square. You will find that out very, very soon, I will publish it. Okay, that's easy when you come to that level of con conceptual thought. That is the highest level. I'm going to explain to you that process of creation. Now, eh, and yesterday evening, I decided to extend my presentation to those topics 
energy, new energy, free energy to explain once forever what is it, what is energy, how it is created, why it is created, and how we deal with it, and why there is a difference between old energy and new energy, and what a blessing for us is, is the new energy. So, energy. Everybody is speaking about energy. Nobody knows what is energy. In the science, you can forget it. Forget it. There is a, a very nice German word that is quatsch. Alles quatsch. And the English word is actually B and C. I'm not going to use that word. I like word macchio. Macchio. Word. What it means? Nothing. No essence. No essence. Macchio. All macchio. Both thermodynamic laws invalid. Both. Especially second one. There is no uphill flow of energy. Unbelievable. Okay. We are going to, to explain that. We are going to clear. I, I, I'm talking about clearing. To clear that to the very core. To the very core. That you all get it. What is it and how it works? Okay. I'm starting over always for myself. And you should always do that. Who I am. That is the starting point. Now comes the Walter LaSalle. There is a universal vacuum which is absolute stillness, motionless, absolute cold. Can you imagine? Minus 273. Nothing absolute dark, absolute darkness. No light, no motion. Light is motion. Every motion is a light. Nothing. But there is a being in that darkness. And there is a desire to express the knowledge that is a one idea but the whole knowledge, and there is the desire to express it. That is very important. And to know who I am, why I am, where I am, and to go to experience it in order to know that. I'm going later on to explain it in details. Please, I have a very nice metaphor for explanation. I'm not going so much here in explanation. Now, who I am? I am consciousness. I am not energy. You are consciousness, you are not energy. There is a difference. Consciousness, there is energy. Consciousness is actually awareness. What awareness? About idea, about knowledge. That is awareness. And that is consciousness. In itself, contains no energy. But it calls in energy. Consciousness calls in energy to create and to manifest with energy in 3D reality. That is whole actually within it, but it's not possible to draw it within it. I moved it out for the sake of just presentation. So, uh, the desire for expression creates energy. So, we are creators of the energy. You create energy. I create it. We all create energy. Consciousness creates energy. We are consciousness. We are actually mental beings, consciousness, including biology. Of course, I will talk later about it. So, now, how are we creating energy? I'm going later in, in, in details. For now, here, we inspire energy. And I ask all of you to make deep conscious breaths and to feel the meaning, to feel the essence of the word inspire, inspiration. Give the spire, give the energy the spire, to spire, to spire. That is the clue, that is the secret. All energy in the universe is spiraling. There, uh, there is a clockwise direction, that is uh, this red spiral, and there is a counterclockwise looking from this side, that is the blue spiral, 
It is not an accident that I wrote this red and this blue because that is a, a, a compression phase of the creation and that is expansion phase of the creation. And that is all energy. That is all, all the energy. All energy is actually uh, energy of the fight, opposition, collision. That is why we, ha we have had in our history so much wars, so much troubles, and so much pain, suffering. All those things come from this type of energy. This type of energy supports that kind of experience. That is all our experience, nothing more. By the way, all illusion and the energy, all the energy is free, free for our creation because we create it and we give it form according to our thoughts. Later I will go in, in details how that process goes with thought, starting with thought. So know that there is all the energy which is free. When people say we are going to have a free energy, I ask always, which one? Old one or new one? If it is old one, you can forget idea because it's nothing new, nothing new. There is a much, much uh, amazing tool which calls new energy. So, uh, that uh, will be a little bit esoterical now. When we decided uh, uh, to, to, uh, to experience, uh, to find out who we are, why we are, where we are, and to express, we went through the First of all, we, have to, we had to separate from the source. Of course, if you are going to experience something, you have to separate, go out of the source. Since the source is everything, you cannot go out of the source. There is no way. There is no uh, one way to go out of the source through thought process. And that is why everything what is ever created is an illusion. This is product of thought, my friend. Yes, yes. Your body is the record of your thoughts. Am I is my record of my thoughts? I think it was that way. So, so you can separate yourself just through thought process, and it goes through thought process. Uh, actually, uh, I, I, I had drawn uh, uh, human self and divine self. You separated yourself from yourself. You created all kinds of opposition, masculine, feminine, positive, negative, uh, upward, outward, inward, uh, all, uh, all other kinds of, of oppositions that are polarized, uh, uh, polarized uh, mates, equal and opposite mates. And uh, they go to experience in a kind of viewing like this, that is human self separated from divine self experiences or experiencing, experiencing life here on earth. All the potentials that you have created for yourself at the moment of separations, you, you are going to experience in your life. All the potentials that I can have created for myself, I'm going to experience. That is why my experience is I are different than yours. That is why I am an individuality, and every of you is an individuality. Unique expression. Unique expression. One part, the idea of the whole, one idea of creation. One part. Idea of a man in action. That is, you are expression of the idea of a man in action. I am also. Okay. And now, uh, I'm not going to talk about the history. David did it today very nice and uh, with uh, such a passion. I like the way David is talking. And so uh, uh, it comes. Sometimes this uh, viewing goes sometimes up and down, out and very close to each other, very far away. You have a days when you are inspired and everything goes nice and you have a bad days when nothing goes. Your divine service of Self is a far away from you, and then it happens. Sometimes it happens crossing. Divine self and human self, they cross, and that is what has happened to the Jesus. And that is the clue for the meaning of the cross. Jesus never 
He had written any word. He had written here in the sand, cross sign. And later, they have interpreted that as a cross. And you know the story. That is all false. Not right. That is right. That is right. What he experienced, crossing human self and divine self, beca becoming one, integrated. One being, whole being. Wonderful experience. Wonderful. Unique experience of Jesus. Uh, he is present, by the way, here. Uh, the spirit of Tesla, of Saint Germain, of Edison, of uh, Jesus. I have invited all of them to be present during the conference, and they are here. I have I've been connected you now with Jesus, actually talking about him. Okay, but in no matter. We, we, we go further. And now, you continue as a body of consciousness. So. What means body of consciousness? Body of consciousness means your biology integrated with your divinity. And you go and experience with your divinity together. Wonderful thing. You experience life with your divinity. You can talk with your divinity. You can, uh, I invited, by the way, my divinity to dinner. And I had the dinner with my divinity and took two thoughts. And we, we have talked the whole night and laughing, making fun, and talking about different things. The people, the whole of the storm, they were thinking, I, I was I was crazy. Am I actually? <laughs> I'm very very close. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, so so that, that that is your divinity and you together playing that game uh, that is known as a life experiencing whatever you want, whatever you choose, and the spiral of consciousness is actually expanding and expanding. With every your experience, it is expanding. It is expanding. It is expanding. At the moment, after the crossing, it turns in and close in itself. And that is the moment that the new energy is born. There is no more, there is no more separate energy and separate consciousness. There is no more two pockets. Here, energy and consciousness. There is just one packet, energy and consciousness together. We have now energy and consciousness together. Do not ask me to, to give you definition of the new energy. There is no definition. No definition. In the moment you define the new energy, it goes. That is wrong. You cannot define. You can just feel it and you can just breathe in, in and bless it with your divinity and let it work for you. That is wonderful, amazing tool. Amazing tool. That is what quantum lap in consciousness is that has happened on the 18th of September 2007. Triple nine, 18, one plus eight, nine. September, nine. Two plus seven, nine. Triple nine, completion, eight. is universal number. So completion, you know that about, about nine. No, you don't, see, don't know secret about nine. I can't believe that, really. Okay, I don't have time to explain it later, probably. When, oh, that's easy, actually, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. Two, four pairs of two plus centering zero is equal nine. That is what creation is, here. Spiral, here. There are four pairs of spirals, four pairs in the universe, always creation go, goes like that, and the centering zero. I will show you this light. That is not, not so com complicated. So now you have a, actually always potential for everything. Anything you want. That is new energy. Going in packet. Together. Together. And that lovely, lovely, lovely uh, uh, play. A lovely, lovely uh, play. And you experience now potentials. Whatever you choose in the new energy. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Easy. You need just to breathe in, to bless it, and let it happen. That is the way of the new energy. I'm going sp later to talk about how, how we can translate it into the current. You want all, all of you want current, just to become independent. And the, free, the new energy is a free energy also. Now you have a difference. Old energy and new energy both are free. 
That is your choice, what you, what you are going to, to use, old or new energy. My choice is uh, to use new energy. I recommend you also, but it is up to you to decide. So, now the promotion of the new energy way, in comparison with the old energy way. Old energy way of creation was, and is still, for all those who use it, hard, complicated, inefficient, and expensive. I repeat, hard, complicated, inefficient, and expensive. That is the old, and that is, that is our civilization. Everything complicated, everything hard, hard. This is, this easy, this easy. That is my disease, pain, suffering. Creation with force, power, efforting, and fear. I'm not going uh, to, to talk about too much about it because I don't have time much. So, in, uh, the new energy way is just opposite to that. That is easy, simple, efficient, and cheap. Opposite, just opposite. Creation with joy, simplicity, and freedom. Opposite to the power, force, efforting, and fear. And my friends, new energy is forceless, is powerless, is fearless. That is the new energy. That is actually what we are need, the new energy creations. And that is what this uh, movement, breakthrough energy movement, is about, about new energy breakthrough. Not all the energy breakthrough. All those people were talking about the projects, they were using all the energy for creation. No one new energy I saw. No one. No one. Now, there, were, uh, there was a lot of talk about uh, yesterday uh, about the uh, monetary system, uh, about the uh, financial system, about other systems. I call them all of them systems of the structured and organized energies uh, that are actually all of them our dark side. We have created all those systems in order to experience what it is like to be a slave. Oh, but decision, that is decision. That's our decision. I don't blame those people in those organizations because they are our aspects. We have created them in order to experience that all. And now we are going to decreate them through the process I call de depolarization. Depowerization. And there is a law that is a new law. Most of those things I told uh, right now, up to now, are new. But this law is extremely new. That is law direct from Einstein. The new law that is not formula. That is actually formula, but not in, in, in a form of, of some equation, equal, uh, and so on, plus, minus, divided. Collapse of power creates waves of turbulence, which create a kind of void which creates new consciousness. A new consciousness creates a new collapse of power which creates and so and so and so. That is the process ongoing now in our civilization. And that is why all organizations, including financial, educational, uh, healthcare, medical, uh, or whatever, religious, will be replaced with new type of organizations. I'm not talking about, uh, about uh, will be destroyed, will be transformed in a, in a, in a, uh, the kind of some peaceful, peaceful and very civilization way. Without revolution, there were people yesterday talking about revolution. I said to Mike, you're my friend, but there is an example how to do that. Uh, that example, has happened 60, more than 60, 65 years ago in India. The experience with Rajav Gandhi and English people, gentlemen, they understood that. Enough, no more, we don't like you. We don't want you here, go. And they went. Easy. Without revolution, without pain, without suffering, without fight, without anything. So, uh, uh, that is the process that is ongoing now, rebalancing actually of all structured and organized energy structures in our society. 
And now I come finally, I'm finally to the, my main pro pro subject. Uh, I, I'm going to talk about Tesla style. Tesla style of scientific thinking and, and discovery is actually a level of brilliance. And from my point of view, and I be do believe that you agree with me, uh, that is much more important than all his inventions. This style is actually what uh, we can use now to improve and to evolve further. Not his inventions, although his inventions were amazing, wonderful breakthroughs and so on. But this, this method is uh, actually that what, what is in the core, in the essence of the let, let me better, let me better teach fishing. Not give me fishes to eat. That is fun, so true and fine. Okay. Teach me fishing. That is that. So, uh, first of all, I have to, I have to add something to the well famous know of action and reaction that is not good understood in science. In science, there is no action and a reaction are, are equal and opposite. That's all. That's all. I know that. That's actually not all. They are equal in intensity and kind. What means? Be careful what you give. It comes back to you. That comes back to you. Then they are opposite in direction. Uh, every action is outward expression and reaction is inward expression. They are simultaneous in expression. The moment you give action, the reaction is on the way to you. That is in mechanic also. The moment I put here, I press here and give action, the reaction acts. Simultaneous and sequentially repetitive in occurrence. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I don't know if it would be enough time. So we come now to this Tesla style. Uh, which I call actually RBI-T style. Why RBI? Because the creation in the universe is an rhythmic balance interchange, equal giving and giving. And I add to it T for Tesla. Tesla style. And that is a new title. It will be promoted. You will, you will be reading much about it. You will be writing about it and pu publishing about it. So now we come to, the, to this... Uh, uh, universal vacuum, uh, we come to the yum, I will call it um, um in my language, or yum, universal vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. There is a desire that is the first step, desire to create. And I will express today, I will share today, desire to create just one cycle of electric current. That is Tesla's favorite subject, electric current. So, uh, uh, so desire. So for me, uh, for me, uh, uh, that uh, beauty is actually feminine principle in that universal uh, vacuum, and that is the desire for expression. You can imagine a beautiful girl having no senses, uh, be aware of her body, but uh, having no form and no ability to get uh, uh, back information. How beautiful is she, and how wonderful is she? So the creating a kind of mirror in order to see itself. And that is uh, actually the next step in creation. So, yeah, desire, you must know that desire is, al is already fulfilled as a mental conception because every desire is a one part of the one whole idea. Since one whole idea is existent, every part of idea is also existent. Is that okay? Uh, uh, th that is not me mentally, not mentally, as a mental consensus is already fulfilled. And now comes the third step to set it all in motion. To set in motion, it means to think. To think means to separate. I said to you, the only possibility to create is to create with thoughts. That is a thought. All creation is a thought process. And then comes the first, fourth step, that is extension, actually, of my knowing. I extend what I do know to my divided light. So, what I imagine in my thoughts, the first step, 
I imagine two two-dimensional rings. And I separate them equal on both sides of the centering point of the universal vacuum point. And you must imagine that that point is everywhere the same in the universe. Universal vacuum is everywhere. You cannot go out, out of it. That is very, very important point to understand. Then I compress those thoughts, those rings in my thoughts and let them spin around this centering point. Both of them start to spin from both sides and to approach each other, each other. What is actually spinning of the ring uh, in decreasing of radius? It is a one spiral. That is a spiral. The rings are beginning to spiral and approaching either, uh, each other and uh, meeting at the amplitude of this wave. Here you have a cylinder. This point goes uh, like like spiral. It is not possible to draw it another way, but it is actually around the cylinder. You imagine the spiral allowed around a cylinder. And every ring is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. This ring of visible light, do not forget, I create rings of visible light with a hole within, with a hole within, universal vacuum, blackness, is a Mr. Proton. That is, a mystery. that is the mystery of the proton. And my dear colleague, Hassan Haramein, ha ha Hassan, Hassan, Hassan Haramein, yeah, yeah, is, is, is claiming that the proton is a black hole. Black hole without, <laughs> without visible light around it doesn't exist in a, that way. It couldn't be a proton. That is the proton. That is the real concept of the, of the particle. That is the proton. Uh, we are going uh, now further. That is the proton dance, I call it. They meet in the middle here and, and build a kind of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a disc shape in the middle. When they, when, they, when they collide, this shape, this is prolating, prolating, and prolating into a sphere, an ideal sphere, and that is here, Mr. Or, the, or Miss Neutron. You can choose. It's sexless. <laughs> at, the, at the highest po point, point, there is no movement. At that point, there is actually stop. <coughs> that is what they are waiting now for, for our civilization to, to be a moment of three, three dark days and so on. Stop, and everything goes from that point on in reverse. That what is compressed. Did you understand that the, that the first phase is a compression? Compression, that is proton. What is compressed must be expanded back into universal vacuum in order to fulfill the God's law of creation, rhythmic balance interchange. To give that what is given back. That is Mr. That is Miss Electron. I call it Miss Electron because, because that is that is a, a mother principle of creation, that is feminine principle of creation, that is expansion. Now proton neutron is expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding until it comes back into the universal vacuum and begins again the cycle. So, what is the particle, actually, that is the same particle? Proton, neutron, electron, they are the same particles. Just in the different pressure conditions in regard to the position on the wave amplitude. Go and read Walter Rosal. That is everything explained there. You don't need to, 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 to hear to me, to listen to me. He explained that everything. I have learned that from him. So, the fifth step is actually uh, creation of the seed pattern that is actually now one uh, non-dimensional seed pattern form. And I must now give material form to that idea that is recorded in the form of the seed. And that is a wonderful example whenever you come to think about this, imagine this picture, the man who is pumping the tire. It requires, it requires an effort, it requires power actually to move and to uh, materialize it in, 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 in a 3D reality 
because we are idea of a man in action. All those stages till this stage, without this stage, that is nothing. The creation actually stays in the higher realms, but without realization in the 3D reality, that is just a concept, some thought concept, seed, called seed. <coughs> ah, so uh, the secret of the electric current leads actually in the installment interchange between space and matter. I'm going to repeat it once again. Between space and matter. Space will be compressed into the matter, and matter will be expanded back into the space. And that is interchange. In, in, a, in a battery, when you put here a very thin wire, you get a small voltage, the interchange uh, installment interchange goes uh, for uh, hours, probably days or months, depending on, 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 on how, how thick in, is the wire. But if you put very thick wire, you get it uh, layer, you get it empty very quick in a, in a kind of, of a flash. Yeah, the interchange would happen suddenly, and we talk about death battery. So now I come to Tesla. Uh, principles and laws that I have worked out together with, with Tesla during the last 10 years in our regular communications, regular, irregular, every day, every night, every morning, whenever I was ready, he was there for me. The first principle. Here are some general principles of magnetism. I'm going later to explain it. That. Uh, and you see the, the, those two, two spirals, just keep it in memory. That is one compressing, expanding spiral. In the middle, there is not reverse, there is a continuation. There is a just one direction of motion in the universe. One direction of motion. And now, there is two, those two principles are, are very, very important for all of you who are going to create something concrete because there is a principle of expanding magnetic coil, which says that any structure, no matter how large or small, that has within it an expanding magnetic coil has an upward flow of magnetic energy. If you are going to create upward flow of magnetic energy, create an expanding coil. An expanding coil. And it will give you that. The second principle, that is the principle of uh, involvement. Involvement, involved to involve means uh, to wrap out and so on. Uh, if you imagine the protons, those uh, red spirals, sitting like this, they call it clusters in water, they, I call it clamps, uh, and then comes the tornado and picks them up. That is principle of involvement, involves it in a round and picks it up. That is the principle of electric current. You saw the tornado, how it picks up autos, houses, everything. And the third principle is principle of fractionalization of wave and thrust magnetism. I'm not going too much in detail. That is actually what Sian and his group discovered. They have a disk in the middle and the thrust magnetism from above, and the wave magnetism from, from under. And they discovered that when they arranged that, that way, the disk started rotating, spinning, and rotating faster and faster. It is possible, if you are clever enough, if you are smart enough, to create a condition of a void here under the disk, and to have a condition for a new energy there. Because whenever you have a void, you have a possibility to create whatever you want. If you want electricity, you get electricity out of that. The second law, when two forces strike each other, whether they are opposing forces or forces that attract each other, they interrupt the natural flow of gravity. And the natural flow of gravity is the flow to the center. When two objects are attracted to each other, 
they are attracted by the flow of gravity. And now I'm going to explain, I'm not going to talk about mu too much about this, this principle, I'm going to explain so-called famous bar magnet. To explain magnetism, I'm claiming there is no magnetism. That is, e everything is an electric vortex. Both spirals you saw there, the red and the blue one, are actually vortexes, electric vortices. Everything what is, what is movement is electric. So, now, you have here uh, the reason why some materials can uh, keep in the memory those ele uh, electric vortices is because of their position in the wave in the appropriate amplitude. Uh, in the way with the amplitude, appropriate octave. Go and read Walter Russell and uh, read his chart of uh, element, and you will find out that ion is a very near to the peak here of the amplitude. It means that it's very, very potent element. And he is, oh, besides that, on the red side, that is uh, the, the uh, uh, clockwise sp spiral, and when you, when you treat it with electricity, he keeps in memory that spiraling vortex. And that is what we call magnetism. Strange enough. Nah. Magnetism. Nothing magnetic is there. That is just electric vortex. And you can help this vortex to, 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 to expire if you add some, some temperature. If you add some heat, it will be demagnetized. True, Andreas. That's easy. That's easy. Now you know the secret that there is no magnets, bar magnets. There is only electric bars, not magnetic bars. All of these bars are electric, not magnetic. There is nothing magnetic. There is nothing magnetic in the universe. So I'm going to speak a little bit about laws in the science, one of the famous laws in, in the car is a law of induction. When the current flows around, at the beginning it was through, now it's around, that is, that is right, that is okay. Uh, around the, the, uh, the wire, it generates a magnetic field around it. That is the law uh, induced, uh, induction. Uh, what is the truth? Each law in science you can turn upside down, you will get the truth. Turn it upside down, here, that is the cause according to the science, according to the me, that is the effect, and the cause is that electric vortex around it. When you produce electric vortex around the current, then you get a current inside it, not opposite. You cannot get current without producing electric vortex. We are not aware of it. So, that is some uh, general statement uh, of uh, upside-down civilization. The famous Coulomb law that opposite attract each other. <laughs> I'm going to laugh about it. <laughs> civilization for many, many centuries. <laughs> Not understanding that only office of opposites is to, is to oppose, not attract. Opposite cannot oppose. Can oppose, not attract. Opposite cannot attract each other. They oppose to each other. So the Coulomb law that opposite attract each other is not valid. In, in, the, in the reality, like, seek, like. And I'm going to demonstrate why it is so. I have here an apple. Imagine. That is the Earth. I'm going to explain to you, to demonstrate the sense deception. Everything, almost everything, my dear friend, in science is a sense deception. As a result of observation, you can get information through observation, sense experience. But that is not the knowledge. You can know only the cause. Effect can be not known can be experienced and cause
cannot be experienced, can be, not, can be known. No one saw the God. Never. But you can know it with your mind. That's the secret. Imagine the exception of this. Our senses are multitudes. Many, many, every, everywhere. Now I'm going to explain you how it works actually. Uh, imagine that is the Earth. North, South Pole, rotation from me to you. That is one direction of rotation. And I see it clearly. One direction of rotation. One direction of rotation. And now, when I move to this side, I see that it's clockwise rotation from left to right. And well, guess what? When I move to this side and continue rotating, I experience it counterclockwise. One direction clockwise and counterclockwise. How it is possible? Huh? That is deception. That's deception. Now I can put it behind me, continue rotating, and my mind knows that is one direction. Mind knows. Mind knows. And says it, senses, they decept me. They deceive me. Mike, and you, all of you, don't trust your eyes. Never. Know that the truth is opposite. So, so my dear friends, uh, bef uh -huh. before I go short into this subject, how am I doing with time? How am I doing with time? Uh, eight more minutes. Just eight more minutes. So, my friends, very quick, <laughs> very quick, we make as a short demonstration of one, one cycle of electric current. I brought here one copper ring, and that is demi water, nothing more inside. You saw that it was bought somewhere in, in, the, in the store. Nothing more inside. You can see it. I put it here, the copper wire, and I'm going now to show you <laughs> that there is electric current there. Uh, that is not magic. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. If you are going to think that is a kind of magic, that is not kind of magic. There are no magics. There is only stupidity of us people. So, you see? Nothing. Zero. I put one electrode here on a ring and one inside. Can you see here? Can you see here? Can you film it here? Take a picture. <laughs> yes. Quick. Work. Would, would you like to repeat it? Go there and may make a picture. Here. So, nothing in. Just a copper ring and demi water. And I have created one cycle of electric current. Not I, Tesla has created. <laughs> <laughs> it was not me, it was Tesla <laughs> who created it. Okay, we are going to show it. Did you take a picture? I'm filming. Ah, you're filming it. Okay, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to experiment too much with it. There is a reason, I will explain it the reason later. At the beginning there was much more, but that is, that is why it should be, it should be so. The reason is, this experiment can explain the nature of the atom. And the right nature of the atom can be explained through this experiment. And I'm going very soon to publish some results about it. And to show that bohr rutherford model is not valid. There are no protons and no neutrons in the nucleus. In the nucleus, there is a hole, black hole, and there is centering bind point in the center of the nucleus. And around is a light ring spinning around that hole. And that is my friend atom. And that is your cell. That is very easy. That's very easy. Everything here is very easy. And I'm going very quick to explain to you uh, some my new, my invention, finally something from me. My invention. Wave field centering. Okay. 
I'm not going to talk too much about it. If you have one cycle spinning one ring around one center. And now, that is that full line here in the middle at zero center. And now, if it happens somehow, somehow, that the center moves out of the center, and that ring starts to spin about the new center in a minute that it goes about that one, that, 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 and then you get this balance of oscillations, not spinning around the center, around two centers, and the nicest example of these spinnings, decentered, their balance spinning is our civilization. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our civilization. We are approaching, we are approaching to the solution of our civilization because of the nuclear reactions all over the world and reactors who are radiating so huge amount of energy in our atmosphere and making global warming effects that is from ILIA, not from official science and from official institutions. There is no ozone effect, there is no greenhouse effect. That is all, that is all quite makio, makio, that is cream smoke, that is cream smoke. Radioactivity is the cause of the global warming, my friends. Radioactivity is the cause of the pollution of the oxygen level in atmosphere, in oceans. And radioactivation is the cause of reduction of the life force energy available for all species on this planet, including us people. And that is result of our action, which is taking, taking. Taking, and it comes now to us. Dr. Ilya, I want to thank you yeah, for. Yeah, a just a minute. Oh. <laughs> just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, I have I have created a an, an, uh, 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 small device with the name QS101. That is actually a sticker. With that sticker, I have created a, a balanced sort that is new, brand new technology. How it is possible to apply in many other other fields and. According to the measurements, I have balanced water with the balanced microwave radiations, and I'm going now not to speak too much about it because it would be some kind of advertisement. I'm not going to, to sell you anything. I'm going to gift you, all of you who are here now, with one pro uh, uh, smiley to protect your cell phones from microwave radiation. And that is, my friends, the end I share gladly from my heart for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Blanca, come here. There you go. Blanca is coming to help me. All of people here. I go this side. Ah, I will tell them. That, that, that is everything is explained already there. You have a very short instructions. That's my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being my guests. You are all my guests, and I am your host. As a host, I have to give something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>